Um, no, just well, I, I liked it the first time I came here, and so I came back. I came back. I think it's uh, like the, the the thing that strikes me the most is like is how uh, in order like to be here, you, you need to like if you're if you're like interacting with 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 people, obviously, and just traveling around, you need you need to just delete a lot of bullshit that that you had in in your in your mind, yeah, for, exactly. you know. So you, for for me coming here, sort of a reset. Like when you, you know, when our computer is getting something yeah. wrong is happening, and you just restart your computer, just just so you know, okay, all this shit that I'm worrying about is just like secondary shit, and, and it, I need to go back to the basics. So it's sort of that's sort of the vibe I get w when I come here, and that's why I like to I like to come over like a couple yeah, a lot like of people every like every two years. So I mean, it's just super honest the whole thing, and it's just super raw and in your face the whole the whole experience so it kind of you know, makes you wonder about it like we're not changing the set we don't we don't like to do that of course we go, we're gonna feed on the energy we're gonna you know we don't have references in terms of like a how is the crowd here so I think if the crowd is quiet we're gonna try to to to, to use certain songs a certain or certain you know to put some some more extra energy into the, into the show to get some response but I, I think like uh, we we are very curious very much curious like what's gonna happen tonight I remember that there was like a lot of um, big artists when uh, when I was even like learning how to make music like a while ago, a while ago, like uh, I don't know, Nitin Sony and uh, Dalvin Singh, and, and and even I remember like some some guys that did sort of a drum and bass Indian mashup yeah. called Bad Martian Tree. I don't know. It was it, this was I don't like know like via stuff London. from like from yeah. like ten years ago. Connected, I guess. connected, like because we consume a lot of uh, music. But, but like nowadays, club culture from London. Nowadays, I haven't been getting a lot of a lot of music from India. I don't know. No. Is there something we should have we should have heard? They, they, they come from a certain scene, like uh, they add oh, uh, a new flavor into into again this international global base culture yeah. in a way, and it's nice to connect with them because there's something similar there and uh, and and. and it's kind of like making bridges and, and, and show that uh, music travels and no matter where you come from, you still have something to, to communicate with, with someone in the other side of the world. So for us, it's really important to, to, to have that common ground. Like, uh, okay, we, we start like uh, uh, with the electronic music kind of, that's the main reference, but then we like to, to, to touch the the urban aspect of a certain scene, a certain culture. That's why we ask you, like, uh, if there is new music uh, coming from India and, and on, on the urban contest, like uh, someone from a funny neighborhood uh, messing up with with, uh, with, uh, with Pro Tools or any other uh, cheap uh, program, like Fruity Loops or something like that, yeah. and making beats, like uh, chopping up, like, uh, the yeah. The, the sitar uh, or, or any other percussion. Regarding the whole bass scene, I don't, I don't think, I think it's sort of an open movement. So I think everything pretty much fits in there. Everything with the bass, I don't, I haven't really understood like w w where the limits were exactly. But um, I think we just consider ourselves as a group that that. Obviously, there's a, we, we consider ourselves a group with a big heritage on where we come from, both Portugal and, and Angola. And then, um, and, and then, obviously, Lisbon as well as the place where we all met and as a place where these two cultures sort of come together, like, in, in, in a way. And, um, and so we just consider ourselves a product, a product of that, I think. And we, um, then what we do is we just look at we just grab all those things that are present in our lives and, and that, that that always have been present 
ever since we started developing a taste for music and we just mix them with whatever we think it's interesting not like in order to build a specific genre but in order to just use everything and make something completely new that you can really fit into into anything like it's not dubstep it's not bass music it's not the, it's, it's just us you know and we just try and get our personality as much as possible on our song like 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 Jean said like uh, being being genuine to to what what we do is kind of, I think that's the the key of our success like uh, we 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 manage to find the perfect balance between two different cultures like Angola and uh, Portugal and also you know uh, touching the core of our city which is Lisbon a city that is is, is located like uh, in south of Europe very much open to the world because from there uh, like people sailors uh, went like to discover new worlds and everything I think and and also brought different cultures into it I think like uh, Lisbon is one of the most cosmopolitan cities even though it's unknown that fact is completely unknown for most of the people around the world and I think like that fact made us more like uh, yeah, like you know made us to look deeper into into what we are and what the city represents for us and uh, and I think that's one of the aspects that make our music unique and also our personalities uh, a little bit unique. When we go on, on a stage, we feel like uh, this might be the last show, so while we're here, we sh should make this like uh, the biggest show ever. One job, two job, three job, four. Uh, you're on imported goods. <laughs>